So tonight, the number one ranked Lady Comets come to town, sitting atop of the Basketball Coaches Association poll for 1A. We're going to give you their starters right now. 5'7", senior number four, Macy Hinderleiter. 5'8", senior number 11, Isabel Scales. 5'8", senior number 12, Alexa Finke. 5'6", senior number 13, Addison Zippelman. And a 5'5", five, five, freshman, number 22, Madison Douglas. Head coach, Josh Douglas. I believe that's his daughter, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Caston's 15-0. 15 and 0 on the season. Come off a tournament victory uh, over North Miami. Only beat them by three. For the Lady Cavs, the 5'5 five, five, uh, senior, number 10, Grace Sieber. The 5'5 uh, five, five, junior, 21, Maddie Hamilton. A 5'7 sophomore, 32, Brianna Schlemmer. A 5'6 freshman, 40, Brooke Davis, and a 5'11 junior, 51, Amaya Williams. So that is the starting lineup for the Lady Cavs. Cavs coming in with a record of 4 and 10. Coached by Adam and A.J. Nice. Talking with uh, Coach Barron a little bit. I think he's watched some film, just still in his DNA, but it uh, sounds like they kind of play more of a 2-3 zone than what they've shown in the past. So kind of see here early on and see them trying to maybe press us a little bit. You ever had the opportunity to play the number one team in the state? It's kind of funny uh, we were talking about that today. And, I don't think so. Um, Coach Evans actually brought up a good point. He's like, hey, no, no, not everybody gets this opportunity. You have nothing to lose. Why not? Quick basket and by Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter right away. A little press here. Grace handling it. Over to Schlimmer. Four Schlimmer three. deep. Ooh. No good. Rebounded Davis. by Davis. Another shot. Falls no good for, that was uh, Sieber. Good hustle by Davis to get it back in. But turn over there. That shot is by Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter again, her second basket. Maybe the foul, foul of the evening. Coach Overmeyer, JB Overmeyer, so Scales is going to Bethel next year to play basketball. She leads the uh, leads the Lady Comets in scoring. Averaging a, 16 and a half points a game. She's a three-sport athlete. Plays volleyball and softball. The softball team was state runner-ups last year. Gets a steal while we're talking about her. And her lighter again. again. Six points for her already. And just under a minute. So you talk with her mom at Rochester. Schlemmer looks to take one. Chooses not to. Oh, let me get carry there. Scales bringing it up. Wide open on the back side is Scales. We'll try. Oh, oh, thought they were going to her. They will. She'll shoot. And shoot. rebounded by. That Number is. 12, tipped over. I'm looking at the wrong roster. Finky. Scales will put one up after the rebound. See her hand on it. Tipped over. Schlemmer has it. Ripped away, Take by it away scales. from her. Out of bounds, it should no be. Okay. Looks like Alexa O'Brien's going to check in for the Cavs. And Schlimmer's going to have a seat. Checking in for the Cavaliers, number 30, Alexa O'Brien. 
Davis Sees. takes the ball out of bounds. Just get it inside, gets it inside to Sieber. Ooh, off the oh, top, yeah. hits the pipe, and we'll go the other way with it. I think she was trying to maybe exaggerate, maybe get a uh, little foul there. Cast and leads 8-0 here in early going. Is Pioneer ranked number one some of those years? Oh, yeah. That we, we, I, I didn't, didn't play against love, them, but. I always love that one, yeah. I don't know how many times they played number one teams, but. Scales for two. Scales are second basket. We will see the press here. Scales takes it away, gets it inside to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter. Puts it up, and I see a timeout coming. And it will, and so will we. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. Welcome back here. 12 0, your score. First quarter, 531 left to go. Cavaliers look to inbound the ball. Make sure to download the RTC TV Roku app on all your Roku devices. Makes it a lot easier to find games. It's somewhat similar to the foul on number 13, Zimpleman. Be her first. Somewhat similar to the uh, IHSAA uh, app. However, you're only going to get local teams. Also, bookmark CulverTV.com for all Cavalier events. As the ball rolls around, finally recovered and given up by Hamilton. Hinderleiter with it, gives it up to Sieber. Looking in, nice job. Nice pass there by Sieber to Brian. He tapped out. Stay with Culver. Realize that they didn't see any of that because <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing camera. <laughs> now we, we can do radio as well. Just put it at center court and see as they pass. <laughs> O'Brien. Oh, thought about it. Back over to Sieber. Hamilton with it. Sitting in that 2 3 zone we talked about. Just some athleticism. Definitely move Here well. Here comes. And Brian it's good. First points of the game for the Cavs. Hinderleiter with an easy uh, path to the basket. The tenth point of the game. Ten points in, what, a minute and a half? Yep. Oh, there you go. That ball's tipped. Just get past to Hender Leiter. Scales with it, goes up. Good. Good for two. Only two girls have scored tonight for the Comets. Ball stolen away by Hender Leiter. She puts it up. And she's going to get fouled. Foul. By For sub coming in the game for Casson, Annie Harsh, Annie Harsh, and Annie. Olivia Thomas. Thomas, number three. Harsh is senior. Thomas a junior. Coming for Finky and Shooter Henderleiter. Twelve points for Hinderleiter on the night. Williams traps there, caught with it. Finally picked up by Davis. Over to O'Brien. Ooh, floater. Yeah, a little out of control there yeah. by Scales. I don't know how much contact she actually made with her, but she yeah. she left uh, she left her feet to spike it, and <laughs> that's going to get you in trouble. First one's good for Sieber. Second one good as well. Cavs not pressing this time. We're gonna uh, pack it in in two, three. Scales with a zip to Zippelman. Zippelman. 
I didn't mean to do that. Lady Cavs will turn it over back to Zippelman. She'll go up strong and get another two. Four quick points for Zippelman. Another big leader for the uh, Comets. It's a uh, household name in Caston, Zippelman. She's going to pick up a foul here. I think, is that her second? It is her second, if it's Zippelman. Yep. Her second, two Number second. Fourth. Oh, fourth. I must have missed a few. I'm sorry. That's right. We did have a couple there. Maya. Maya Williams will try to go up with it. And she'll get another foul. That's Zippelman's third. I think that's 25. They got that one. Should be oh, harsh. Got better eyes than I do. I just saw Zippelman out. Or, uh, she was out here. Her and Scales. First one for Amaya is good. Six to 22, your score. Cheer out in full force tonight. Good to see them. Now we officially don't go back to school until next Tuesday. This coming Tuesday, the 9th. Students, anyway. I always hated that as a coach, you know, just getting out of the routine and not having that set routine of school and worrying about kids going to bed at the right time and this and that, practices being off. But I think Caston might be in the same boat. I think they're going back Tuesday as well. I have not been to bed on time. <laughs> See, it's, it's guys like you that really tick me off. <laughs> because you have stayed so true to your schedule. Three-point basket by Harsh. Taken away by Harsh. Ooh, double dribble there. She knew it. I'm not going to argue. I like how she continued to play on until they called it, though. Yeah. Dribbles into the trap. I think we may get a uh, ooh, jump ball. ball. It's going to be Cavalier ball still. JB game went to Caston. D3. Lex O'Brien, her second. Cavaliers say we want to play a full game tonight, ladies. Contact after the shot there. Did not box out scales. She's got eight points. Will be off the foot of Sieber. Sieber. Henry Leiter. Along with Finky. Looks like Zimpleman will have a seat along with number 22, Douglas. The freshman. Could see her a little bit in action last year as an eighth grader. She's pretty impressive. Harsh to Scales. Scales. Just off. Williams with the rebound. Oh. I kind of did a burpee there in the middle of the court. Another three. Brian. Ooh. That one's look good. just a bit outside. <laughs> Ader Weedy is this morning. Speaking of baseball references, you see that they're uh, getting underway with the press box. Yep. Old one's been removed. Footers are poured for the new ones. So just noticed yesterday that it was gone. It was, <laughs> they were pouring concrete. I went, oh, they took it down. Talked to Trevor. He goes, yeah, they took it down just before Christmas. No, nah, it was the uh, last day of school. So, yeah, I guess just before Christmas, but... Harsh, just long. scales. Only the second three-pointer Caston's attempted. First one from Harsh was good. Yeah. 
Good ball movement by the Commons. Scales drives through. Nice job by Scales. For her 10th point of the night. Scales will steal. Take away. 12 points for her. Isabel Scales. Thirty-one nine after one. Cast and leads. Take a quick break. We'll be right back. Kalman's ball to start to second. Harsh. Almost Douglas, Hender, Leiter, um, Thomas, and Finky on the court for Caston. Scales and Zippelman off. Sieber, O'Brien, Schlemmer, Hamilton, and Davis for Culver. Oh, it was baseline. Oh, just off the end. Yeah, touched her. Douglas bringing it up for the Comets. Took my uh, first ever trip to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse for New Year's Eve. Nice. Was not a fan. What? I know. I was so disappointed. This broadcast is not sponsored not by Ruth's Chris. sponsored by Ruth's Chris. <laughs> We did get a free appetizer on by downloading the app, though. So oh. the shrimp cocktail was good. That was probably thirty dollars. Oh yeah, but no, I went there one time in high school, and it was it. Is it still like no prices on the menu and stuff? No, Paul? they have prices. Really? Okay. Not That's everything's list, like the lobster tail. Just said market price. Yeah, market prices and stuff. What'd you get? Uh, got a ribeye. Ordered ribeye. ordered it medium, medium well. It came out. Uh, about well done. Even the uh, really? even the server was a little bit taken back. And did you send it back? Definitely agreed I did. Oh, that's why it wasn't no good. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they sent good me out a, they sent me out ball. another one, which was bigger, like two times bigger than my first one. But it was done medium rare, like rare, rare. So I knew I could take that one home at least. Yeah. I mean, the, the quality of meat and stuff was oh, good. Yeah. just... Scales and Zippelman back in. Harsh and Thomas have a seat. Had uh, those seven all playing time for the Comets tonight. Wide open in the corner is O'Brien, but getting it to her is going to be Douglas going to draw the foul issue. there. I believe that might be her second. Oh, nope, first. He's first in the corner. Not sure. I've got those other two for them. This is a tough position to be in for Kasten as far as playing at different levels and trying not to foul. Wow. Hope she's okay. Yeah, she took out the scores bench. Zippelman, she's tough. Gina will replace it. She appears to be okay. Oh, yeah. Popped up, flexed a little bit. I oh, know they took her out, didn't they? Yeah. RC checking her out, making sure she's okay. Yeah, good to see him tonight. Showed him the new facilities. Nice dish. Ah, oh, get in there. Good look there by Siebert. Yep. That was 
Douglas for the attempt. I think the foul is going to be on O'Brien. I thought she fouled her actually before, like when she was driving before she pulled up, but the official then said she got her from the backside on, on the shot. Douglas first one, no good. Uh, Zumpleman checks back in and let her have a seat. Maya Williams checks in. O'Brien will have a seat. Schlemmer pulls the down. Douglas missed both three throws. Uh, added out of bounds. Yep. Volleyball spiked by Scales. I think they they lost this year. Last year they won sectionals for volleyball, but lost to maybe the state champs at Southwood. I know they're in the same sectionals. Oh, yeah. Travel by Hamilton. So Tyler's been asking for a bigger monitor for this camera for like two years. You see why now? And I definitely see why. Like at this point, I can't see anything. I just I'm looking. I have to look back to the computer. Giselle checks in for the Cavs. Hamilton has a seat. Harsh Zippelman. Scales all on the floor. Ooh. Douglas comes away with it. The freshman bat on inside. Harsh for three, her second of the game. Three I was going to say, they get Hinderliner back out there. That's, that's really trouble for the Cavaliers. There's not, not much... Uh, To first, do there. first quarter body uh, by Williams. You know, in the first quarter, both Macy and Addison, or not, Addison, Isabel had 12 each. So. I stopped taking score after I saw you were taking score because trying to. I kind of stopped though as well. <laughs> I tell you, it's 34 to 9. Got to talk to our AD about doing better stat sheets here. I don't like it. I like theirs. Theirs is nice. Yeah, it's still missing. Some stuff there. Like this one? That's what I need. I have his phone number, but I won't put it out on uh, Culver TV. Schlemmer with it. Trapped in the corner. Step through, gets it taken away from her. Jump ball, gonna be Comet Ball. First looks to get inside. Douglas with it. Back to Harsh. Over to Scale. She gets it inside Zippelman, but batted away by Brooke Davis. Cavaliers will take it away. Nope. Saved Man. by... Those are tough passes right at the feet. I think that was saved by uh, O'Brien. Scales with it. Takes a little Euro step. step. And good. Brian over in the corner. Dribbles in. Back out to uh, Siebert. Over to Davis. Davis to Villegas. Back to uh, Davis. Take it away by Scales. Full court pass there. Thomas. Arch for three. No good. Hmm. Oh, 
That's a ball movement. Good ball good. movement by the Cavs. O'Brien for three. It's good. Her third. She's got nine of the 12 cap points. I can't verify this, but I think Alexa may have both sets of grandparents here. Nice. Or maybe grandparents and an uncle, something like something of that. Douglas is three short. She has to, uh, she's doing a good job of putting on a display yeah. and stepping up. She's three or four behind the line. Schlemmer comes back in for Davis. Are the new waters for sale at the uh, concession stand? Uh, they will be after we reuse all the Dasani. <laughs> Place is going to turn into Disney World. Start selling souvenir cups and offering refills and get your new and improved Cavalier H2O. And the ladder. Good. Spirit spot open tonight? I don't think so. Not during break. They did a pretty good sale there right before. Well, found a little bit of apparel for myself even. That is a uh, found a couple uh, Christmas gifts in there. Seabers three pointers good. Cavaliers at 15. Comets 38. Comets only scored seven in this quarter. Hit a 31 point first quarter. Is the second quarter contrary to what uh, yeah. Trevor's hey, we run so Trevor's been on break too. Our um the scoreboard that you see on your screen actually runs off of a of a software that we have uh, connected to the camera that then broadcasts it on the screen. So we no longer actually have to put like scores and stuff or broadcast picture in picture scoreboard. Another for O'Brien. So Her fourth of the game. What you're seeing there. I was thinking of. You got the niece boys. Niece. Yep. That, that's a, a given. Cavalier ball to start the second half. Grace Handler. Good look into Elmira. Tipped over to Hamilton to Schlemmer Deep for three. three for Schlemmer. Thank you. You also got the Caleb and Jonas McCune. Well, I was so I was thinking, <laughs> like people have graduated. People have graduated okay, because okay. yeah, there's there's several sets. You have the the uh, the Hamilton sisters mm -hmm. here. Scales on the mission. Up to Zimpleman and good. Casting can uh, give a lot of teams some fits. Definitely have some athleticism. Definitely a lot of skill. They've been playing together for a while. Love to see a mind just go up and get off the ground. Offensive foul. Oh. The. I think it's going to be on the floor, right? It's going to be on Sieber. Yeah. I was hoping they'd get that low, lower end of the shoulder. I think Cavaliers going over to Caston for the boys game. That'll start at 7 tomorrow. Be varsity only. This will be a 30-second timeout. There was no Jay Rogers shootout at halftime. So I want to make sure. What, what's the official name now? Jay Rogers and Zaner Excavating. Halftime shootout. So there's no shootout tonight, but want to make sure those guys get a shout out on Culver TV, being proud supporters of Culver Community Athletics. Ticks bread, but maybe we'd have some entries, but uh, I don't know if anybody bought tickets or something. So 
And blame Paul Dunn. Yep, I'm going to pull. Blame Pauly. Pauly D got to uh, tour Lucas Oil Stadium. Nice. That oil can. -y. I went to. Uh, Said he had a good time. I already shared my, my negative experience with Ruth's Chris. The only other negative experience from break would be uh, we went to Fair Oaks Farms. Yeah. And it was just not. It could have been. It's probably 95% our kids. But the. Uh, Oh, three-point basket by Douglas. That is Douglas. Freshman. We weren't, we weren't thrilled by the – I remember going as a little kid, and I loved it, and so did my wife. Well, and then this time – You're not 10 anymore. It, I know. <laughs> but even even the kids didn't. I mean, the, Did you not get your wife ice cream? Is that what happened? Well, what? we did. We did okay. get ice cream, and it – Milkshakes are always solid there. I know somebody broke the uh, new rule for the elementary um, – Field trip. You cannot get ice cream because it always slows the buses down. They got to get back before. But somebody in particular went ahead and did that this year. A parent? Yeah, a parent. Even an administrator here. But Zella and I enjoyed the ice cream this year. <laughs> I was like, wait, it could be brandy, right? <laughs> that was I, that one was left open. I was waiting for you to finish it. I didn't. Nobody notified me of that rule in time. It was too late. They had block on Amaya Williams. I ask, why would you go to Fair Oaks and not get ice cream? Yeah, that should be just like on we the... We did see a calf being born. So. We, didn't, we didn't get that one. No. We, uh, the red light was on in the birthing barn, and so we didn't go in because our kids were being a little crabby. We, we got there like four hours before they closed. Did you there, do like the full tour and stuff? We just did the, the cow tour. We didn't get to do the pig tour. We got there... When we left, they were still open for two hours, and they still wouldn't let us like go on the pig tour. I was I, I had not been on the pig tour, and I was a little disappointed we couldn't go. Good pass inside Ooh, nice by try. Siebert to Williams. Going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul on Douglas, her second. Her third, sorry. Went through Pulaski on the way back, looked at the uh, Christmas lights. Ooh, down to the state fair this year, did their state fairgrounds and saw their lights. That was cool. All coordinated to uh, music and at a radio station you listen to. Great money maker because it was thirty dollars a car. And we were, it took us an hour and a half to get through there. That's how packed it was. At least you got your money's worth of, of it taking you that long to get through there. It um, wasn't over in ten minutes. No, I. I mean there was a lot of cars and stuff, so it took us a little while to get in, but it was cool. Kids enjoyed it. Another thing. Uh, Three-point basket by Douglas. Douglas. Her second of the half. Another, uh, you were talking about things not being exciting as a, as a kid. Now that I'm an adult, that was one of them. I remember that being bigger. I thought it was big now, but for some reason I thought it was huge. Like, it took us, I remember it taking a long time. Ooh. Did you stop at Bill and Babes? Ah, uh, we did not. No. We had kids with oh. us. They don't like that one. I, I didn't think she actually hit her. 21-46 is your score. 4.49 left to go in the third quarter. Boys varsity will be in action tomorrow. Steal there by Schlemmer. They are traveling to Caston. It'll be a varsity only 7 o'clock start at Caston. One week from today, or no, from tomorrow, excuse me, here, John R. Nelson Gymnasium, boy girl doubleheader versus Triton. And it is 2014 sectional champion 10th anniversary night. A crazy 10 years already. Not getting younger, Mr. Croy. Nope, definitely not. The. Uh, I think next year is the 15th anniversary of the girls' regional, if I'm not mistaken. Next year is the 25th anniversary of the boys' football. Yeah, you so better just find, like, a bunch of mementos that you can get printed up because every time there's an anniversary, <laughs> you're going to have to hand some stuff out. I don't think they Good were 12 in this quarter already. They weren't thrilled by the uh, that third or the second quarter. 
Gavs hit some shots there. It's nice. They did a lot of subbing, though. They had a lot of girls in and out. Look, now, now you have uh, Harsh and Henderleiter and Scales and Zippelman. and Zippelman all on the court at the same time, which was that, that group that the roll. Oh, got her. Coach Douglas was nice doing play. his. Nice play. Nice job. Nice execution there by Williams and Sieber. Coach Williams was doing his line changes. Hadn't had all those girls on the court yet, and not at the same time anyway. Skip pass. Douglas has had a nice half or quarter here. She's Good rebound. Schlimmer on the rebound. I like that Ooh. effort there by Hindelider. You don't see a lot of people try and pick that pass off right there. O'Brien checking in. Hamilton will have a seat. Brian's been our hot hand tonight. She's got four three pointers. See if they give her any more attention in the offensive end. Back door to the ladder. Good. Back in action next week against Frontier. Is that Wednesday? Oh. Yeah, I've gotten away with one. Yeah, we got several games coming up. Three point basket good by Schlemmer. I think we have three games next week, including Friday's. That is not, that is Friday is one game, not as two separate double headers. I think there's a boy game, a girl game, and then a boy and girl game. You're the master of the schedule, though. I'm trying to pull it up. Going to download my, or look at my event link app, if you haven't got that yet. Your follower of Cavalier Sports and Events. Go ahead and download the event link app. Make a, create an account, and you Boy. can get all the notifications when there's cancellations, when there's things being adjusted, start times being changed. Just got one yesterday, actually. Start time was changed. Got an events calendar on there now. All the athletic booster meetings are on there. Um, we got all games, fast for night, science fair, band things, all, all kinds of stuff on the event link app. Put it all in one. There's always 20 different calendars for the corporation, so hopefully that works out. Worth the $500 a year. Frontier comes to town on Wednesday. Lady Cavs in action. Just to reiterate, the app is free. Yeah. <laughs> Just like huddle and everything else. Monopolizing the business. Country uh, country song quiz on Amazon. I now have to pay uh, twelve ninety nine a month for. Gee. I know. They do not get my money. If I was. Uh, we may have to go. Looks at O'Brien, ties it up. Jump ball, we'll go to Caston. No ball, common possession. Wednesday's contest is going to be varsity only. Frontier is not housing a JV team, so that'll be a 7 o'clock start. Possibly senior night for the girls as well. Still looking for maybe an extra contest uh, that third week in January. Cav will also host the girls sectional last week of January, so it goes quick, man. Tomorrow, semi-state yes. for girls girls wrestling. Did you mention that? I have not. Yep. Ariana Vela will be uh, going up to Penn High School and participating in the girls semi-state. She finished second last week at the regionals at Mishawaka. I believe that's maybe a noon, 1 o'clock start. So it's a little earlier. Some of these schools are in session right now, but I guess last year, I was talking to Coach Kling today, he said they got over at like 2 a.m., so they wanted to start it earlier on a Friday instead of doing it on a Friday evening. Yeah, that would not be. It's not always fun when you're there that long and that late. 
Going to get her on the hip there. Douglas finishes and one. All right, so next week, Monday's the ninth, right? Yep. Eight. Monday's the eighth. So we have seventh, eighth grade boys basketball at LaVille. They'll wrap up their season next week. Boys basketball versus Community Baptist on Tuesday, the ninth. Yep. The tenth, girls frontier varsity basketball here. Um, and then Triton on Friday. So three games next week, four games total. Two boys, two girls. Catch all the action here on Culver TV. Zumpelman takes it. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Get it down to her. There we go. Better crash, 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 crash. Shot ready. Three point Good. basket. Good by Seaver. 29 57, your score at the end of three. I, I kid you not, our server was like seven foot tall. He had to be at least, at least 6'10. He was a solid foot taller than Brett Barrett, which That's Brett's like 6'5, right? I think so. So I, I would say this guy, he had to be over seven foot tall. Like, he came up to your table, and that's Douglas. The finger roll doesn't go, but good Euro step into a finger roll there. She reestablished. Um, the scales basket no good. Simpleman with the rebound, tipped around. Back to Douglas. Harsh. And it's good. The basket's good. But it's just kind of been their outside threat for him. Yeah. Had to had to literally look up at this guy like like felt like I was you know tipping back in my chair. He was so tall. What did the Zayner family do? One of my sisters played some card games and stuff and ring in the new year that way. Got to see both balls drop. The Eastern Standard Time and Central Standard Time. I think the Central one's a music note. Is it the Nashville one? I think so, yeah. My, uh, my daughter kept saying when's the bombs going to drop, so... Better go ask Uncle Andy. <laughs> Get foul there. Be on all scales. Foul number 11. Her third. Her third. Always like to uh, call my aunt in California. She uh, obviously several hours, I think three hours behind us. So I uh, didn't. Got a, I got a shower on the second because we showered before we left that night. And I, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to go take a shower. And then she, she said something. I was like, oh, well, I haven't showered since last year. It was my joke to the kids. Of, oh, leave up. See you next year. The one, I got somebody who's a high school kid this year. Like, where are you going? <laughs> Just going to my house. <laughs> Double screen there. Hamilton for three. In oh. and out. Uh, yeah. Added around yeah. there. Gonna be foul on Maya, I say. It's a good call. Just a loose ball. Haley Parker checks in. Been very impressed with Haley this year. Very scrappy, plays hard. Bodied O'Brien. Kids enjoy Christmas. Was it uh, 
A little different. Ellie probably had a great time oh, in her presence. Yeah. 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 Jimmy's probably a little too young yet, isn't he? He just crawled around and played with what he got the day before. Right. Boxes were more interesting than yeah. most. Really enjoyed. Uh, nice yeah. basket by Endelider. Tough market. Tissue paper. Tissue paper was his thing, mm -hmm. which was a little bit better than, than last year with Ellie. Ellie last year, we thought she was, you know, one and a half. She's going to be able, almost two. She, she was not thrilled last year. So this year was nice to... Did not want to get out of bed. Had to wake her up. Really? And then she walked down the stairs and saw the presents. And then she was a different kid all day long. My kids asked if they could wake us up at five. I said no. I, uh, I didn't. I don't think we started over in presents until probably eight. I cooked skills the, baskets short. Cooked the prime rib. I know you did too. Actually, I did ribeyes. Oh, you did rib. Okay. I cooked. Uh, I cooked the prime rib, and then. Uh, my, both my mother and I, we believe, got what was called or what is referred to as food poisoning. So that was not fun a couple days Sweet. after Christmas. You're not cooking anymore? I am no <laughs> longer going to be cooking the prime rib. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. That's the thing. Like I, So for Christmas, Hannah got me a meat thermometer that runs off my phone. Mm -hmm. So it's just an app. I open it up. I set what, what it is and what temperature I want. And a wide open scales in the corner. Well, good job by Maya Williams getting out there. Anyways, it's just a wireless thermometer and yeah, those are neat. And you know, linked to Bluetooth or whatever. Yeah, so I cooked it and it hit the temperature and I took it out and it, you know, it, it tasted fine and everything looked good and it was you know perfect as far as Douglas for three. The meat is concerned. And then you know, 24 hours later, I was. Did you do 145? Yeah, it was whatever the. Scales. Oh, that'd be smart. Yeah. Ryan's going to be probably here third. 319 left to go in the ballgame. Three. I think it's 319. 318. We're not at clock. Oh, clock yet, are we? Did we get to 35? Should be right now, yeah. But at free throw, that's four. It stops for free throw. Yeah. Okay. Yep, there we go. We are. Casting seven out. Hutzel seeing her first action, number 15. Number 20. I think it's Natalie Warner seeing her first action for the Comets tonight. Parker for three, just off the mark. Short, good rebound by Schlimmer. Scales takes it away. So I think Scales is good. I was just wondering why she's still there, why she's still in the game, but wasn't she shooting? Ah, uh, yeah, she might have been. Just an athlete. Williams bodies up. I think they're just going to let that one go. Yeah. Yep. Time out. Coach Douglas getting uh, yeah. getting those girls out of the game. Time out, comment. That's, I look uh, forward to see what Casting does this year. They're obviously, got a nice team. They yep. are runner-ups with a lot of these girls in softball. Had a nice volleyball season as well. No, they beat Pioneer in a tournament, but then Pioneer ended up winning the conference in volleyball. Went on to get runner-up at state. Is that correct? I believe so. In two A. So uh, just shows the talent level. You know, girls come together. They work hard. I know talking with their administration, they get a lot of these girls in the weight room, their leaders, and it makes a difference. So, ah. 
Maya Williams goes up strong. It's those new new backboards. Brought to you by Alex McBee. <laughs> Who had graduated, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and works for Indianapolis PD. No ball. Comment possession. Eddie Hamilton checking back in for the Cavs. She'll get Seaver. Seaver will have a seat. Their seniors did a nice job tonight. Mm. Some positives to take away from a, a game like this. Not obviously the way you wanted it to end oh. up on the score. <laughs> the bank's even open for Kasten. Bank is open. Just Comment three-pointer, Kylie Logan. Okay, Kylie Logan's her name. Sorry about South the camera. Yeah. Wasn't on the varsity list. I was going to say, was not on the, was not on the uh, roster. She's on the JV roster, so. Off of, oh. I, thought that was I think, off I of think he hit number 15. 20 seconds remaining. Over in the corner to Schlemmer. That'll just about bring this one to an end. We might get a shot. Oh. Well, that'll do it for this one. 29-69 is your final score. We appreciate everybody being with us tonight. Congratulations to the uh, Lady Comets. Good luck to them. Hopefully they uh, continue to do uh, big things in, uh, with their season. Once again, we will be back in action on Tuesday uh, as, I believe it's Community Baptist, right? Community Comes to town. Community Baptist coming in.